In this session, let us learn how to use Inkle Writer to create interactive stories. Inkle Writer is a web-based software that is used to create an interactive story in which the user can read a story and can make choices that changes the direction and the outcome of the story. It uses choose your own adventure format. It is based on a form of branching scenarios. So it is an easy to use software that help us to build different story options. We can present the beginning of the story and then give choices for the reader. Each choice can have a different ending. So this is the simplest traditional format where there is a beginning of the story, a linear flow and that goes to the end of the story. There are some more formats in which we can create less branching scenarios or complex branching scenarios. Some of them are a beginning, there could be two options in the middle which leads to a different ending. Or it is a complex scenario where there are multiple middle stories which leads to different ending. Remember to create a navigation map on paper first so that it becomes easy for you to outline the story and use the correct choices of branching. To open the software, you need to open one of the browsers and type www.inklewriter.com so you get a screen like this now you need to create your own account and sign in once you sign into the website you get a lot of options displayed you can click on new to create a new story you can give a title you can give your name as author and add different options. On the left side, you will find some options displayed. Now, bold, italics, and image are three important options we'll use. I'm going to open my story. Now, in this, I'm going to give a title. I'm going to be giving my name as author. So, the story goes this way. Once upon a time, a man lived in a small village near the river bank. He used to cut the trees on the river bank every day and sell them in the village. One day, he dropped his axe accidentally in the river. He searched and searched but could not find it. He sat down crying. He said, Oh God, my only source of livelihood has gone missing. Please help me. I'm going to make this italics. Suddenly, God appeared in front of him and promised to help, making it bold. So I am giving two options. God went inside the river and came back with a gold axe or God went inside the river and came back with an iron axe. Click on the respective arrow. Now you can write the story. I am writing, Woodcutter was surprised to see the gold axe. He accepted it or he refused to accept it. If he accepted it, then God was accept with dishonesty and punished him by taking back the axe. What would have happened if he would have refused to accept it? So God went back to search in the river and came back with a silver axe this time. Now if he would have accepted it, we can Join it with the previous option where he punished him. So you can join to an existing paragraph by clicking on the respective option. And click on the arrow to rewind back. Now if he would have refused to accept, then God would have went searched and came back with an iron axe and rewarded him with all three axes for his honesty. You can click on the left arrow and come back to the relevant links. First option had two different scenarios. He went inside and came back with an 
iron axe woodcutter accepted it so god rewarded him again this could be joined with an existing paragraph which was already there now we can try to insert images by clicking on insert image so to take the image do a google search and find the relevant image now i am taking the honest woodcutter story with pictures going to select one of the stories and open the link so that i get all the pictures now i scroll down in this particular website and i am going to right click on the image and choose copy image address now i get back to my inkle writer window and insert it by clicking on image and copying the image address now i am clicking on use you can see the image is got inserted now the same way i am going to insert images in multiple places now to insert an image for gold ads i am going to click in the appropriate place and then search in the same website find the gold ads picture right click and copy the image address now get back to my inkle writer screen and paste it there so this way i am going to do it for silver ads iron ads and all the three axes and keep it ready now i am going to click on the same option if he refused to accept the gold ads and when god came back with the silver ads now i am choosing the image of silver ads from the website copying the image address and in the inkle writer screen pasting it now when he came back with the iron axe i am going to add a picture here as well now i am going to copy this image address and insert the image and paste it here i'm going to the website and adding the picture where he rewards the woodcutter with all the three axes i'm copying the image and coming back here inserting the image address and pasting it now our story is good to go all the images are inserted in this we can go ahead to read the story in an interactive way it shows different options right i am going to click on the share button copy the link which would be in the browser and then open another tab and paste it here now you can find the story open for everyone so i can navigate through the different links and the story scenarios move accordingly right so if you see how the story progresses we can create a tree like structure where we have a beginning middle and the end this was the kind of navigation map that i was talking about the story has a beginning that the woodcutter dropped the axe in the river and then we have the middle of the story which could be god gave a gold axe or an iron axe if he would have accepted the gold axe he would have been punished if he refused then he would have given the option of a silver axe again if he would have accepted it he would have got punished but if he would have refused he would have given an option of an iron axe and if he had accepted the iron axe he would be rewarded with all three axes for his honesty so the middle of the story is this and the end of the story is either he was punished or he was awarded 
different axis for his honesty. So we need to keep in mind the following things when writing interactive stories. One is your appropriate choice of words and then clarity in thinking. We need to plan the sequence of events which is to be given and use simple language so that everyone gets to understand what we say. And finally, we need to have the ability to recognize patterns in an instruction and follow it properly. So with this, we come to the end of this session. I hope you have understood how to use Impel Writer. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.